All right, welcome to the OC Varsity Dugout Show. This is the baseball edition, and it's championship edition with Mr. Friday Night Steve Fryer. I'm Carlos Sarius, and we're going to talk about the finals, man. All right, well, uh, Division II baseball championships at Dodger Stadium at 4.30. That's Friday. We've got two uh, Orange County teams in it, Carlos. We've got Pacifica against Aliso Niguel. Uh, great players all over the field. Should be a really good pitching matchup. So, uh, probable starters for Pacific will be Kyle Davis. He's 7-2, seven, seven and two, like a 1.12 ERA. He'll be going against a left-hander, Brett Barker. Barker's uh, got a 9-1 and one record with a 0.71 ERA. Both guys got a lot of strikeouts. Both guys are really good hitters, too. Wow. So uh, it should be a really good pitching matchup. These teams have scored a lot of runs lately. Gosh, I just saw Lisa Niguel score seven, uh, 16 runs. <laughs> And a crushing defeat of uh, that was a football game, or you know, I think they outscored their football team, Carlos, because 16 runs on 17 hits and uh, and uh, walloping uh, Tribuco Hill 16 to two the other day. I don't think we're going to see that kind of scoring going on. I think there's they, they, there's too much uh, good pitching going on here, and you know if uh, if something happens with the Pacific starter Kyle Davis, they got a great guy in Max Beth who can come in, a big guy who's uh, pitched really well for them. And then uh, uh, also on the other side, aliso has got Matt Molnar, who's pitched really good for them. So great pitching, great hitting, great defensive players. Trent Chatterton, the shortstop of Pacifica, uh, quite a player. And also uh, they've got, both teams have really good uh, center fielders. John O'Hurkins over at uh, Pacifica, fast, fast, fast. So is Kyle Paris of Luso Niguel. Something I always like to see Kyle Paris do before every game. Have a little meeting over there by the... Uh, by the uh, foul line, you know, over there, third base foul line, and they, went, arr, arr, and they yell and they break up, and he does a backflip like Ozzy Smith, and they ran out of the field. So <laughs> Sweet. I love looking forward to seeing that, man. <laughs> and uh, we know about the Pacifica guys. They got a yeah. great, you know, team unity. They they uh, spent, what, eight hours one day uh, getting Mohawks and getting their hair dyed, and, you know, they're obviously a fun group of guys to be around. Yeah. But uh, now let's go. Now we only have one other Orange County team going. It's little CVC, Capo Valley Christian. They're playing Desert Christian in the, what is that, Division 6? Yeah, Division 6 at UC Riverside at 4 o'clock on uh, this coming Saturday. Capistrano Valley Christian seeded number two in that division coming in. Desert Christian of Lancaster seeded number one, so the top two seeds are meeting here. Some, a really good matchup here. Sam Eichler of Capistrano Valley Christian has had just a big old year for them. And taking a look at a couple stats here, Parker Koss, who's a very good football player for them too, batting 417 with 31 RBIs. Eichler on the hill, check it out, Carlos. 0.65 ERA and 120 strikeouts in 75 innings. That's unheard of in small schools where it's usually, you know, just a beer league, you know, slugfest every yeah. game. That's that's unheard of. Well, it was early on for Capistrano Valley Christian. They scored uh, they scored 37 runs over their first two playoff wins. Then they got a couple of close ones, six to one, and then six to five to get into the finals. Desert Christian also of Lancaster also uh, got a one-run victory to get to the finals. And a little bit of uh, information on the Desert Christian guys. They got a guy named Chance Gusbeth, 500, 531 batting average with 34 RBIs. He's not their best hitter. James Grand Prix is with a 649 batting average. Wow. So yeah, it's a it's gonna be pretty wild there at UC or uh, UC Riverside on on Saturday, man. I think Michael will have something to say about those batting averages. I I, I, so. I see a uh, batting average, you know, getting you know knocked around in that one, not the pitcher. Yeah, I think so too, because Eichler's been uh, just a tremendous two-way player, also one of the better uh, hitters too for the Eagles of Capistrano Valley Christian. On. Well, that's our final OCVarsity.com uh, dugout show of the year. And uh, always come back to OCVarsity.com where we got you covered.